Hi everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is another paint pour experiment. This time not using the Liquid X pour medium. Instead, we're going to use Elmer's glue off. So, going to use the same colors that we experimented on the last video, okay, which was ultramarine blue. And I put a, a blob of paint there and magenta dot of that and white these are all acrylic paints okay and let me just move that paint out of the way because we don't need that there and here's our glue we are going to pour or yeah squeeze and pour the same amount and I don't really measure, I'm, I'm guesstimating, of paint that we, we have to have is what I'm aiming for here. So just pour your Elmer's glue in there. It's a little slow coming out. You really got to squeeze it. And then on to our white. And this is going to be neat because we're going to see whether the Elmer's glue is better than the Liquid X pore medium. And I used a lot of white here, so that's why I'm putting a lot of glue. Half and half is kind of the ratio I'm going for. This is all experimenting, so that's what the fun part is. Okay, so get yourself your little stir stick, uh, whatever you use to mix your colors. Go ahead and mix uh, your color with the glue that you poured in there, okay? So that's what I'm doing, is I'm mixing. Scraping the edges, the bottom, uh, and really incorporating that glue into the paint, okay? All right, I'm gonna mix these two. Be right back. Okay, I am mixed. I've already went ahead and mixed the glue in the magenta and in the white. I'm now doing the blue. Um, I wanted to just show you, it's very thick here. And you can see it doesn't run off my stick very good, right? And that's acrylic paint with the Elmer's glue. So what I do is give it a couple of just sprays of water in there. Okay, we don't want too much water because we don't want it super thin either. So I thought I'd show you that because I'm waiting for that consistency. There we go, where it will run right off the stick nice. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Maybe one more squirt. One more. It's kind of just by feeling and then plus your test is putting it on your stick and letting it flow down. And it'll make a little mound and then disappear into the paint. And that's what you're looking for. Okay, now we've got the glue in. Now we want to put the uh, activator, the silicone, in. And I'm going to put, now, let me just check my white here. Okay. And I made a little more white than I did of the other colors. Yeah, it's, yeah. I'd have preferred if I'd have kept it a little, so one good, squeeze or drop of your silicone into the paint. We just did it. Go ahead then and give it a very good mix. Okay, no bubbles are forming. That's awesome. You don't want the bubbles. If you do get bubbles, um, you can let it the paint sit for just a little bit sometimes the bubbles will settle 
but that is really not what you want. You want a medium that does not do that. And this one does it. And look at that beautiful pour. Uh, and you can see it uh, mound and then disappear into the paint. That is the consistency that you're looking for. And now let's do our white a good mix with the cell, uh, cell activator, the silicone. It's a little. I, I'm going to put a little more white paint. It just feels just a little too runny. And I don't want that. I want it the same consistency. And I accidentally put, I think, just a little too much water. But it's all fixable, you know. Just add a little more paint. I'm going to add a little more glue. See if we can't get the right consistency now for the white. Let's see. And these all have lids, these little jars. So believe me, I don't throw anything away. I put a lid on it. <laughs> Use it the next time. Okay. There we go. Well, it's still on the runny side. But you know what? We're just going to go with it. Okay. Now, my silly little melted jar. <laughs> That's going to be our pouring jar. So let's first put in some blue. Okay. There we go. Good. Um, then I'm going to put a little white. going to come get some magenta, maybe, I should have probably maybe mixed a little more paint, I'm hoping it'll cover the canvas, okay, and as you see, you just build, you just continue to build in your pour cup white on top of that, then I'm going to come in with the blue again, and you just kind of alternate like that. Yeah, I should have mixed much more paint, but it's still going to be good for our experiment. We just want to know if it will create cells better by using glue, Elmer's glue. Or using the pouring medium, which I got really good results from. But let's see what this will do. Okay. There. Some more blue. What we'll do is we'll turn this uh, cup that I'm filling upside down onto a canvas and uh, see what we get. I'm curious because uh, I'm not sure I got enough paint to do it. Maybe didn't mix quite enough. A little larger canvas that I had left over. Magenta. This is the first time I've tried using the glue. I've seen others do it. But this is my first time, so we're going to see how good I do. I don't know. Uh, I'm a little bit not sure. And when I pour that white in, it seems to kind of sink, which I don't want it to do. get some more blue here. I definitely should have made more blue. And more, just more everything. More paint. 
live and learn. This is an experiment. This is not about making a, a painting for someone to buy. It's simply trying to figure out what I like doing the most and whether I like using the glue for it and the accelerator or I like using the mixing. Okay, let's end it with the pink or magenta. It's interesting. It definitely I was able to make more and use less paint with the liquid x pouring medium uh, now the glue did not give me what i expected okay we're going to just go with that because all i'm interested in is seeing whether or not we can get a cell beautiful cells this way with using elmer's glue and, a cell, and the cell ex, uh, activator, sorry. Okay, so you take your canvas, put your cup there, you know, and you do a, just turn it over, okay? And you wanna wait a little bit for the paint to um, fall down. And beginning to see that happening that oh how pretty oh my cells already happening guys okay then all yeah as you see I'm doing I'm just rolling the paint I'll torch it too. Huh. Okay. Huh. Interesting. I kind of want to get that edge over here. go boom okay now looking to see if any cells are gonna begin to happen without a torch and gosh I am messy here so I got my little baby wipes that I can wipe my hands off with and get it out so I can get the torch because I'm gonna torch it because some of the cells I'm not seeing here I'm seeing a lot develop in here now, that's better than the Liquid X because I had to torch it before anything showed. So, I'm excited once I torch it to see what it's going to do. All right, grabbing my torch. <sighs> my husband said there's only a little gas in there. Be careful. So, I'm being very, very careful. do is do what I'm doing. Okay, and then off. Off we go, flame. Be very, very careful, guys, using stuff like this. This, you know, normally there's this little click thing that you can buy from the art store to torch. This is actually a, a man's torch, okay? Real gasoline in it. Um, so if you're in that situation and you know you have to just be very very careful that's all I would hate for somebody to get hurt I tell you that is absolutely beautiful okay Elmer's glue Elmer's glue all okay it's important that it's glue all let me just because this is a may make sure you understand that it's glue all Okay, because there's a lot of different, 
there's a lot of different Elmer's glue out there. But look at that beautifulness. Oh my. Uh, hands down, uh, Elmer's glue beat uh, the Liquid X Pour medium. Ta da! And of course, uh, the coconut milk uh, silicone is working. And it's uh, beautiful, I think. Um, winner in my mind. Let me bring it up a little bit closer. So everybody can see the cells that are forming, okay? Or formed. Um, beautiful. I like that better than, uh, and I see, I think my white, like I was feeling that it was a little too liquidity, which is why I think the blur here. And, um, you know, there's another trick. Let's try it. And what you do is you, you could take like a little straw and blow. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> Thing. Different. Oh, isn't that pretty, huh? Different. I don't know if I'm disturbing the cells or not. neat. I'm going to torch it one more time, guys. And off. There we go. Make sure you wait until it's completely gone, that flame. If you're using a man's Porch. Okay, that helped. Ooh, look at this happenings. <laughs> They're not very, you know, interesting. Hmm. I think it's beautiful. I'm really, I'm really not sure which one really is the best. You guys are going to have to tell me. Do you like this? I'll try not to get a glare. I think that might be where that other video. Okay, I'm just trying to really let you see a good view of it. All right, that's our experiment. Okay, again, glue all Elmer's. Okay, mixed with acrylic paint with some silicone, one drop. <clears throat> Maybe I should have done more drops of silicone to make more cells. I'm not really sure. It looked like it was forming cells until I started uh, moving the paint. Then I've lost uh, the cells. There is some still around. The torching did not do anything with the white. I think my problem was that my white was much too liquidity. Is that a word? Liquidity? <laughs> I don't know. But you know, it is still very pretty. I like it. Um, gosh, it's still out for me. What? What is? What was the best? The other pouring medium or the glue um, I, I, I 
want you guys to tell me. Because once this sets, there could be more silicone cell activation that happens. I don't know. I'm just simply using my fingers to try to get it to the edges. I don't know what that edge is looking like. I don't, can't see it. Just bring in some of the paint around. Now, if I'd had more paint, I guess it would have rolled better off to the sides. Okay, well, there you go. Ta-da! I still think it's beautiful. I don't see the cells, which is bothering me. So, on to another experiment. And here we go. That is our results with the uh, Elmer's glue. And uh, either not enough cell accelerator, or I made the white a little too thin and not enough cell accelerator. I'm not sure. But I do think it's still very beautiful. Um, I could build on this with putting my clay uh, bunnies or butterflies or whatever I wanted to make this would be a beautiful background okay that was our experiment thank you so much for joining me got lots of little paint now on my fingers you all have a good day if you like what I'm doing um, hit that subscribe button like button share um, YouTube likes, you know, everything on YouTube, you know, with the thumbs up and the likes and all that good stuff. You do what you feel. I hope that you join my channel. Um, that way you're just notified when uh, I upload another one. Uh, and it's free. Okay. Um, thank you for joining me again. Have a great day. I hope you like uh, what you saw. Bye.